Welcome, 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 Collective. Back here again with another intuitive energy read for the Collective. This message will be general, so I'm going to take what resonates and leave the rest for someone else. Thanks for tapping in. Thanks for stopping by. You are truly appreciated. You guys are amazing. Um, thanks for all the loyal support to my A1 Day Ones. Thank you, thank you, thank you. If you're new here, welcome, welcome, welcome. If nobody told you they love you today, I love you today. Okay, with that being said, Holy Spirit, please allow us to tap into the messages. Reveal to the collective what they need to know at this time, what they need to be aware of. Please and thank you. Let's tap in, collective. What's here for the collective? What do they need to know? What do they need to be aware of at this time, Holy Spirit, please and thank you. Yeah, we got backstab. I was getting that energy. Um, if somebody's going to find out, yeah. That they've been being backstabbed this whole time. Hmm. By their person. Okay. Somebody's been very deceptive. Alright. Wow. I don't know. You find this out. You might, you might want to. I don't know. Take it out on this person. When you find out what they've been doing here. Okay. Hmm. We have not today. So. It's in the reverse. Yeah, because you ain't trying to have, you ain't trying to have nothing, okay? You ain't trying to have nothing, be dealing with nothing that's going to cause you no pain or whatever. You ain't trying to have nobody lying to you right now, whoever you are, feel masculine, okay? So you might you, you might want to talk to this person about it, okay? Because you don't like being in an un uncomfortable position. Somebody, I'm getting the energy that somebody feels like they're in a very uncomfortable position, okay? It's the energy I'm getting here. Okay, like somebody put them in an uncomfortable position here. Okay, they feel like they're being backstabbed by their person here is what I'm giving. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Somebody's person is dating somebody new here. Somebody's person, is, they either plan on getting back out there and dating, get with somebody new while they already have. That's why somebody feels like, you know, they ain't having, they ain't, they ain't, down with nobody breaking their heart you know what I'm saying they ain't trying to go through a separation and they ain't trying to have you know no surprises come up on them or nothing like that hmm what's here Holy Spirit for the collective somebody feeling real uneasy right about now I don't know, but they're not saying too much about it. I'm getting they they being more observant than anything here. Yeah, they just trying to make sure you know they can stay s s stable. I mean, they want to be stable within themselves. Like you know, they're already healing from things, not just relationships, but could be you know external forces that they're healing from, external situations outside of this relationship that they're healing from. Okay, wow. Somebody's really wanting to stay put with somebody, but I don't know. It just seems like something's going backwards instead of moving forward for somebody here. What else is here, Holy Spirit? Why is that going to work here? Why is somebody feeling painful or heartbroken? Or This is past, present, or future energy, so take what resonates and leave what does not. If somebody's dealing with a narcissist, somebody is being love bombed, and maybe you know it and maybe you don't know it. But yeah, somebody's person is planning on getting back out there, or somebody's person's met somebody new here. All right. Yeah, somebody's dealing with somebody that's in a one sided relationship. Like, that's why shit don't seem to be moving. Like, you, you feel like you just stuck our relationship is just stuck like in a certain gear like it's not moving you know it's just at a stalemate or something yeah there's some talking going on behind the scenes here all right somebody might be ignoring somebody's phone calls or or when you talking to uh, your person, they letting everybody else hear your conversation. I'm picking that up. Okay, they they like putting it on speakerphone, letting people hear you talk. You know, wow, this is crazy. What else is here, Spirit? Telling people they don't want to talk to you. 
Okay. Yeah, this could be rather shocking to know what this person is actually doing behind your back here. All right. Yeah, to hear what they've been saying about you to other people here. Okay. I'm getting that they've been telling other people and letting other people hear you talk. Like, I don't know. Like how much you want to be with them, how much you want to be in a relationship with them, you know, how much you want to, you know, like put more into the relationship to make the relationship better, you know, to, to, to make it grow, to move, you know, forward or, you know what I'm saying? Like, but this person has been very deceptive. They, they behind your back telling people that, you know, um, they backstabbing you really. I mean, like who lets somebody else hear you talk on the phone when you're talking to this person and you, you know, you expressing yourself you know, uh, in a very volatile way, and they're just making a fucking game out of it, like letting everybody else hear what you got to say, and you're mainly talking to them, you don't know that they're letting other people hear your conversation here, all right, yeah, this is somebody else who wants to get back out there, or they've met somebody new, and this is the way they're, like, trying to, like, I don't know, prove something to the, to the crowd, I don't know, this could be family, relatives, friends, or whatever, but yeah, when you find out that this person been backstabbing you this way, you know, um, yeah, this could come as a shock to you, all right? To see just how, how selfish this person is that you you put out your love to, that you opened up to, you know, you thought that you guys could really have something going on, you had something good going on together here, all right? And then all of a sudden, there was a sudden change here. So what else is here, Spirit? I was getting back out here. Maybe this person met somebody new. Now they're trying to put you on blast in front of everybody, you know, without you knowing it, though. And they doing this shit behind your back. They letting everybody hear everything you say. Hmm. Yeah. Somebody wants to get back out there. They, they man, want to get back out there and have fun. With somebody, somebody to met somebody new here. Okay, or somebody been dating somebody else here on somebody here. They've been seeing somebody else. And shit, this may come as a shock to you the way they've been backstabbing you. You know, like telling people they don't want to talk to you, but you keep calling them. You keep, um, you know, like you've been like a pest. You know what I'm saying? That's the energy I'm getting here. Like, yeah, this is a narcissist somebody's dealing with, okay? The only thing they was have to do was a love bomb anyway in the first place, okay? Yeah. But you're a tender-hearted person, whoever you are. You don't deserve none of this bullshit this narcissist is dishing out, okay? But they're going to be made to eat off their own plate of shit is what I'm getting here, okay? Trying to hold you back. Mm-hmm trying to hold you back here because they want out of an agreement or I don't know the relationship or something like that they don't you know what I'm saying want the relationship to go any further but they can't tell you that film masculine they just talking behind your back and letting everybody else hear your damn conversation here alright wow so everybody else will know what you're saying to this person okay mm-hmm yeah, they're telling everybody that the relationship is over with you and them. You don't even know this yet. <laughs> wow. You don't even know this yet. For some of y'all, they're trying to rekindle shit with their ex. Mm-hmm. Or somebody new. Wow. Oh. Yeah. This uh bitch or this motherfucker behind the scenes that they've been seeing here, reason why shit ain't been moving forward with um you two, okay? Mm-hmm. They are narcissists too. Uh-huh. Your 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 person's a narcissist and this karmic that they're dealing with is a narcissist. Yep. They both of them charming each other, like you know, <laughs> they're using each other. They are using each other. Mm. Collective. You about to rise above this bullshit. What else is here? It's a backstabbing narcissist here. Okay. Yeah. 
they don't love you. That's why this relationship is one-sided. That's why you feel like you're putting all the work in and all the effort into this relationship. But this person ain't trying to help you grow nothing. You know what I'm saying? You planting seeds, you watering their relationship, you watering, you know, the feelings, the emotions, you're trying to elevate. And this mo motherfucker, this bitch just sitting back, you know, saying, let, thinking it's a fucking joke, letting everybody hear you, you know, uh, spill your heart out to this motherfucker on the phone. Okay, either they recording you or they letting everybody hear. They putting your ass on speakerphone, wherever you are. Yeah, but see, they ain't stopped messing with you yet. Okay. And this is why this would be a surprise to you because you thought, you know what I'm saying, whoever you are, whoever's energy I'm picking up on, it could be somebody in your energy collective. They thinking that it's not over. They're not thinking this person would backstab them like that. But like I see that you rising above. You're going to rise above this bullshit once this shit come out if it hasn't already. This is past, present, or future energy because time is fluid, okay? And reverse the roles are necessary. What else is here? But yeah, both of these karmics, so uh, your, your your narcissist ass karmic person, okay, that's backstabbing you behind your back, letting everybody hear your conversations. You know, they record your conversations, you know, like letting their friends and family hear you talking shit because they want to get back with a motherfucking <laughs> ex it is or this new person they done met and shit. And they want to try to downgrade you or downplay you in some kind of fucking way. Okay. Well, this karmic ain't going to change their life for the better. If that's what they're thinking. This karmic, they, they call themselves cheating on you with. Yeah. It's not. And it ain't going to work out. That's what Spirit said. Mm-hmm. How can you... This person is crazy. Listen. And I'm getting the energy here. That... This person had the third party on you, okay? Or they either went back to their ex, okay? Wow, because there's somebody they plan, they thinking they, they could plan on, you know, having something stable with this person. That's why they, you know, <laughs> thinking they could, this is unconditional love with this fucking karmic here. But your person, cheating ass person is a narcissist and so is this fucking karmic. Okay? And both of them charming and using each other. I don't know. Hmm. Wow. Both of them going to find out that they both got issues. <laughs> I'm hearing they both got issues when it comes to love. Okay. Wow. They just like basically using each other to have fun fucking the past fucking time. Like they are actually using each other for their own specific reasons. Like for their own gain. Like both you know like i don't know your, your your person is thinking that you know they are fucking narcissists i don't i don't know i don't know maybe they think they look good or something like that but they definitely got back out there and they, they thinking it's, it's funny to just let people hear you pour your heart out while you're talking to them and they letting everybody else hear what you got to say mm-hmm but they're chasing after somebody who's going to leave their fucking ass. Okay? Because they're a narcissist just like them. What else is here? The charmer meets the, another charmer. The user meets another fucking user. Okay? This person thought they was using you. But shit, they done got hooked up with a user too. So they're going to get used. Uh-huh. They think it's going to be a long-term relationship with this karma down here. Yeah. <laughs> wow. A commitment that's going to last. That's what they think. A union that's going to last. It ain't going to last. Because they both using each other as a fuck, fucking option here. Okay. Wow. What else is here, Spirit? One more. Mm-hmm. You're going to be finding out. You're going to be finding out, okay? But like I said, you're going to be able to ride above this, this narcissist bullshit, okay? Because they done hooked up with the wrong person. They done hooked up with the wrong person. They're only thinking about themselves. That's what Spirit said. They're only thinking about themselves. Indulging the shit they want to indulge in, you know. And um, they're going to regret it. They're going to regret it. Mm. So let's see what else your karmic person been up to, okay? 
Hmm. They want to be free. They're telling people behind your back they want to be free uh, from you, but you keep trying to hold on to them. And shit, they're trying to end it with you. They ain't told you nothing of the sort. They ain't said shit to you. But it's how they gaslighting their family members and their friends telling them this bullshit, you know, that you chasing them and that they done told you it was over with, that it has ended. You know what I'm saying? Wow. Wow. This narcissist wants somebody to kiss their ass, right? But you ain't chasing. You ain't chasing nobody. Wow. And you ain't adapting to their bullshit neither. Okay. You you may No, this this is gonna come as a shock to somebody here. This 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 ain't something that you even prepared for. Is what I'm getting here. You just thinking everything was okay. You ain't you know, you ain't think about no ending being in sight with you and this person. That's just narcissist you've been dealing with. You're going to find out they're a fucking narcissist. Okay, so tell us more about this karmic energy spirit, please, and thank you. What's the place need to know about this person? This is backstabbing ass narcissist they're dealing with. Letting everybody know about what they talk about in private to them. And, you know, thinking this shit is funny. Letting everybody hear their conversation. Oh, they're recording somebody's conversation here. I replaying what you say, recording what you're talking on the phone, or just recording. I don't know, you might be riding with me, recording, recording at your house, or when y'all together, or whatever. Yeah, this person is like, you know, fucked up in the head. Let's see. What's this karma? Oh, yeah. Temptation. Okay. Wow. Huh. They didn't plan on telling you that they was leaving. Exit plan is in reverse. They didn't tell you that they was planning on leaving. Like I said, you know, but you 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 may know something ain't right, but I don't know. You kind of just wishing for the best in the situation here, but you know, I don't know. You're not looking for a heartbreak. You're not trying to deal with no type of heartbreak. You definitely ain't. Yeah, you ain't you ain't down with that shit, and you ain't expecting that from this person. This narcissist that you're dealing with. But you're going to be finding out the truth. That this person been telling people that, you know. They've been telling their family and their friends behind your back. That they was leaving you. And you don't have no idea. Yeah, they done made up their fucking mind. Okay. They done made up their fucking mind here. Is what I'm getting here about what they want to do because they tempted by this karmic okay yeah they like wow they around this uh, a temptation you know not only with this karmic you know um that they dealing with him masculine but they you know just in this devil energy like trying to be funny like be a fucking show off or something like they the most wanted person that somebody want to fucking be with. They really all into they self here. Okay. You was thinking like, you know, I've been nothing but nice and kind to this person. Why would, you know what I'm saying? I don't think they want to hurt me. But yeah, this is the same motherfucker that will hurt you. Okay. The one that you think they won't. All right. Yeah. Now they done met somebody that they found very tempting here. Okay. And they done made up their mind. They, they don't didn't tell you they was leaving, but they told told everybody else. They don't told their motherfucking family members. And they don't told their motherfucking friends. Okay, you see these motherfuckers. They don't told everybody what they plan on fucking doing here, and they don't care how they look in public or how it's gonna make you look. Okay, you know they don't care if they tarnish your image or not. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, this is I don't know. They rotten to the core. Is what I'm hearing. Yep. They got a key to this karmic's uh, house, too, that they've been cheating with. Mm-hmm. Somebody could be pregnant, too, here as well. That's not for everybody, but somebody's pregnant here. And since you've been pregnant, your person's been acting real funny, you know. Telling people, like, well, yeah, you know. They think they're pregnant. They think they can, you know, like, control me. I'm about to show them some. This is what they're telling their family members and friends. And you don't know nothing about it. They backstepping the shit out you behind your back. You know, like making it seem like you're chasing them, you know. But you really care about this person, whoever you are. 
but they don't feel the same way about you. And whether you're pregnant by this person or not, somebody is here in this energy. But these two motherfucking narcissists, this karmic your person cheating with, and your narcissist ass person, they both using and charming each other. They telling each other what they want to hear. Wow, I guess we're going to call them entertainers, huh? Damn, they entertaining each other. What else is here, spirit? Hmm. What else is here, spirit? Wow. Yeah, your person been holding this inside, not telling you. They don't want you to find out, not just yet. I'm hearing not just yet. They don't want you to find out that they got somebody else that they plan on leaving you not just yet oh they don't want you to know not just yet hmm for some of y'all they want to they want to let y'all down easy but behind the scenes they doing so much behind your back like this will really like devastate you to find out how this person is talking about you and saying shit be having your back to their family members and their fucking friends here. This shit is not cool at all. Yeah, they holding this shit, shit on the inside. Not telling you about it. They telling everybody else about it. I mean, damn, why come they couldn't come and tell you about it? Okay? Wow. No, they rather sit back and, 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 and make you think that something's going to happen between you and them or whatever. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, I'm trying to sell you a pipe dream or some shit like that. Okay, to keep you hanging on. You know. I don't know why they want to keep you hanging on. What's here? What? Thank you, Spirit. Why they want to keep the collective hanging on? I don't know. Right now, I don't know. If you're in a vulnerable position, they may know that you're still hurting from something that may have happened to you in the past. Or you may be like, you know, your emotions... I don't know, you might be emotional about something right now. Something could have happened, something could have jumped off, you know, outside of this relationship that you're already dealing with, you know, and they just are feeling like they don't want to tell you right now. That they done made up their mind that they, you know, going towards somebody else. They didn't told their family and their fucking friends. They just ain't told you. They just telling you right now what you want to hear because they already know that you're going through something emotional right now. Is what I'm picking up here. Giving you false hope. Like you know. It, 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 something can still happen between you two. Why well, they didn't already made up their mind. That they gonna fucking cheat. Okay. Not just tell me. You know. Giving you false hope. That you know. Something can happen in this commitment. You know. Or that it's gonna last. You know. But shit. Mm-hmm. Hmm. It's a lots, lots of twists and turns in this fucking relationship with this karmic that you're dealing with. A lots of twists and turns here. It's a lot going on. Okay. They dealing with a narcissist. Your your person is a narcissist. They don't. They dealing with a narcissist. They motherfucking entertaining each other with bullshit, charming and using each other. This shit is complicated. Like, or it's going to get real complicated because they don't know. They done made up their mind and told other people that they, they want to be with this other person. Like, their family and friends and shit. But they holding it aside. They haven't told you. They're still selling you false hope. Because, see, they don't want to. I don't want to. Right now, they know that you're emotional. That you're hurting about something right now. Okay. Wow. And maybe you told them. You know what I'm saying? I'm, you know, if I give you the opportunity, you know, give you a shot at the title to be with me or something like that. Maybe you told this person that you're like, I'm, I'm not trying to be hurt no more. You know what I'm saying? I've been through this. I've been through that. You know, you probably have been crushing your life, you know, hurt, hurting your life or in, you know, past relationships with people, be it family, friends or lovers or whatever. And this person know that, you know what I'm saying? But still they go behind your back and they do this type of shit here, you know, but 
they're not telling you, being openly telling you right now because they know that you're already hurt from something else or you've been hurt in the past. Okay. And this is what's making it complicated for them um, to tell you, but they can tell every motherfucking body else. Wow. They know you've been hurt before. This person promised not to hurt you, but they lied. What else is here? They're not already made up their mind, but they hold it inside. Mm -hmm. They're not telling you, but they done told everybody else. They know right now if they told you, they disagree, you know, really hurt you because they, mm, a deadly combo. That's what I'm saying. They know it really hurt you, okay? Wow. They just get like, I don't know, this even caused you to go off. You know what I'm saying? Like, this shit complicated. Yeah, it could get explosive is what I'm hearing. Like, I don't know, maybe you can go off on them or, or maybe they ain't telling you. Maybe that's why they're trying to draw or paint a different picture of you to everybody else so to make it look like it's all on you, you know. But, you know, things get explosive, you know, and you lash back out at this person. Once you find out that they've been backstabbing you the way they've been backstabbing you, collective, you know, yeah. This could trigger you because, like I said, somebody in this energy here been hurt before and they wasn't trying to jump back into that relationship to get hurt again. So this could very well trigger somebody is what I'm picking up here. And when they find this out, what, what they person doing behind their back, how they fucking backstabbing them, you know, talking about them to other people, family members, friends or whatever. Telling them all the fucking plans, they plans, but they ain't telling you. Yeah. And they don't realize they're being tempted by the devil here. Well, this shit gonna get exposed. It's gonna come to the light. Mm-hmm. Wow. There's a lot of negativity around here. As I'm getting this, 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 this obsession is a deadly combination for somebody. Like it could really be triggering to somebody. All right, <laughs> when this shit come out, I gotta keep it real with y'all. Okay, like somebody really walking around. Somebody is treading uh, some motherfucker. Very, very mm, treading a thin line here. I'm telling you, if somebody walking around with a dark cloud over their head. Okay. I don't know. Very negative. Maybe it could be this other um, karmic that your person decided to deal with. You know what I'm saying? It could be a deadly combination. You know what I'm saying? Because maybe they don't know something about this karmic's dark ass past. They got why they fucking blowing kisses they way and shit. Trying to show them affection. You know what I'm saying? And selling you a fucking pipe dream over here. Backstabbing you on the back for this, this motherfucking bitch ass nigga or this bitch over here you know what I'm saying that's, that's messing around with your person here that's sleeping with your person any relationship with your person and they didn't even tell the karmic that they left you or that you just be bugging them calling them all the time like yeah like you you know well, yeah like you been bugging them and shit you be calling them like, listen, they got to prove it to them. Like, listen, listen, they chasing me. They chasing me. I ain't chasing them. I want you. Yeah. They lying ass. Mm-hmm. It's an ending coming. If it ain't happening, yeah. It's an ending coming to this shit. What else is here, spirit? Yeah. Mm -hmm. They're going to find out this karmic is nothing but a gold digger shit. They just end it for what, what they can get. I told you, just, they are charming. They use it just like your person. Just like the karmic narcissist you're dealing with. They don't they don't want to find one. Yeah, they met their fucking match is what I hear. Yeah, because they end for what they can get. Okay. They self-serving. Okay. They self-serving. They all about they self too. They are narcissists too. Yep. So they, they done found they match. That's what I hear. Mm. Wow. It may not have ended yet with this karmic. But when this shit comes to the light, when this shit get exposed, because everybody is everybody know about this shit what your person been doing except for you. Everybody know, you know what I'm saying, that I don't know about your person. What's your Holy Spirit? 
What do you want the collective to know? What do you want to reveal to them at this time? Teasing. Oh, wait. Yeah. Maybe you could feel your person shifting. I don't know. Telling you half truths and shit like that. I mean, they may be telling you stories, but they ain't telling you the true story is what I'm hearing here. That they done made up their mind and shit, you know. Wow. Yeah, they only telling you part of what's really going on. They ain't telling you every motherfucking thing. They definitely ain't telling you about this third party. They telling every fucking body else except you. Mm-hmm. And this karma they dealing with is only in it to get what they can get from your person. Your person don't see that. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. This temptation your person they got into because they thought they wanted to get back out there. They don't met they match. And they don't know it yet. Because whoever they met, this karma that they done hooked up with, they got a dark cloud over their fucking head. Yeah, it's a daily combo because this person ugh, gets triggered real easily. Like, wow. This option they fucking with. Yeah. Daily combination. So what's more spirit? What do they need to know? <laughs> mm hmm They gonna find out that this karmic they messing with. Uh-huh. Ooh. That it was all just a game. This karmic, I told you there was a charmer too, a narcissist just like your person. They was in this shit just to have fun, to get what they can get out of it and be gone. They already walk around with a dark cloud over their head. Okay. Shit. I don't know. It could have been something that they did with their past person. And shit, you know what I'm saying? That your person don't even know about. Okay. Wow. Hmm. Sparks can fly. Okay. I'm just saying. Something could get explosive here. But it's a daily combination. There's a lot of twists and turns to this case. I'll sit to this case. Well, may, this person may be dealing with a case or something. Or maybe they... X person may be dealing with the case and shit. They might be triggered behind finding out that your person is, is dating them. You know what I'm saying? Like, wow. A lot of twists and turns. Shit. If somebody's not about all talk, somebody will get to it, is what I'm hearing. Somebody will give somebody the fucking business here. Okay, I don't know. I'm picking up it's just this karmic that your person is fucking around with. They hold, they hiding some shit from them. Shit, you know what I'm saying? They just in it for what they can get. Okay, but they walk around with a dark cloud over their head. Damn. Yeah, if your person is thinking it's going to work out with this person, wow. They're going to find out that this person, this karma that they went towards um, <laughs> to backstab you for, ain't nothing but a teaser. Be a masculine or feminine, a silver tongue fucking devil, a big flirt. No action. They just in it for what they can get. Like, they a fucking player. They just doing the shit to have fun, but whoever they used to fuck with before they start fucking with your person. Shit. I don't know. Something about this karmic's past your person is dealing with. Huh. It's a deadly combination because it's a lot of twists and turns. A lot of shit this, this karmic ain't ex ex exposed to your person. Okay. Wow. One more spirit. What do they need to know about this karmic situation here? What else do they need to know about this karmic situation? Holy Spirit, please and thank you. That is fucking toxic. Listen, spirit come through every time. Somebody need to know this. Like, this is a destructive destructive relationship. It's manipulation. It's gaslighting. It's nothing but toxic. Okay? Your person is dealing with somebody that has a dark cloud over their head. They either not telling your person something that they need to to hear, um, to protect themselves or something. I mean shit, this shit could get explosive is what I'm hearing. But so you ain't trying to you ain't trying to be dealing with this person once you find out what they've been doing behind your back and shit. Yeah. Some of y'all realizing that y'all person doing something. Okay, are you going to be like, damn. 
It says the truth is that you simply don't feel for, you don't feel fulfilled. Wow. And you don't know if this person can like I don't know. Since you've been through a lot already, collector. Is it worth this person, you know, you gotta really find true happiness with this person or not? Because like everything seems like it's at a standstill. That's the energy I'm getting here. Yeah. Because for some of y'all, y'all wasn't even ready to get into a relationship, but you gave this person a chance. And they gave you fucking false hope in return. I'm hearing they got they just like the others. That's what I'm hearing somebody say. You just like the others. Damn, toxic. Mm. Some of y'all wasn't even ready to love again, but y'all gave this person a chance. Man, that's fucked up, you know. Let's see. Let's see what these toxic motherfuckers be up to. What the fuck do they be up to? They be talking all behind your back and shit. They can't say shit to your face. So that ought to show you that they cowardly and shit. That ain't nobody you want to be, be with. Collective. My collective is strong. Alright. Wow. Y'all standing y'all power. Shit. Y'all can't let no joker like this get you down. This is a fucking joker. Okay. That, that's gonna find out that shit ain't funny in a minute. Why they just out having fun. And they gotta be made to look like a fucking clown. Especially with this karmic they decided to deal with. Somebody gonna make their ass look like a clown. Cause they, you see how this clown is juggling? This karmic they fucking with gonna juggle their ass just like that. Mm -hmm. They just in it for what they can get. Your person don't see that. But hey. If you can dish it out. You can take it. That's what I'm hearing. Damn. Tell us more about this, this karmic uh, relationship. My collective person is into Give us some details, spirit, please and thank you. Oh, this person may be cheating with one of your family members for somebody here. Oh, well, they might tell you it was just sex. You know, it was just sex. This person was a freak and they liked it, you know, because they, they like to get freaky. I want to get freaking with you. Let me lick you up and down until you say stop. That's what I'm hearing, y'all. <laughs> wow. Somebody liked the way this person got freaky with them here. And somebody's cheap with somebody's family member here, too. That's why that could be a deadly combo. Because that shit would be toxic as hell because that would crush the shit out of somebody. All right. Mm. To find out that your person in love with your family member has been keeping this shit from you. Somebody might even have shit. One of your family members pregnant here. I'm picking that up here. Wow, they're trying to figure out a strategy plan of why they don't want to. Uh, extra strategy plans to why they don't want to be with you. This person, for some of y'all, they know y'all been hurt before. And y'all let this person back in y'all life. And they promise not to hurt you. And they reneged on that shit. Backstabbed you. Now they're trying to, you know, make you look like the bad person. In front of their family members and their friends and shit. What's here? Because only because they want to be with somebody else. <laughs> Spirit said at least they think they want to be with this person until they get with them. You know. When they don't have you no fucking more. What's this energy spirit? That's too much. Mm. And for some of y'all, y'all could be pregnant. And, you know, y'all can't take this hurt and pain right now. It says, oh. Somebody said, I'm telling you, somebody's messing with somebody's. Oh, they said they were family. But they were kin. They were they were not kin. So somebody introduced you or somebody in your energy collective as one of their relatives. But this is the karmic they've been cheating with. Mm, 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 mm. Y'all might have noticed your person may have been hiding their phone lately or 
done changed the passwords and they gave you the passwords where before they was giving you the passwords and you done seen that they done changed the passcodes to shit and all that, you know, been hiding their phone because they've been secretly recording you like you don't want to be with them so bad, you know. Wow. Like you chasing them. You don't even know what the fuck going on. This is just they got to put on the show for these family members and this fucking karmic and they fake ass friends. Wow. What else? What else do they need to know? Only take what resonates with you. Don't try to make this whole scene fit because let me just put it where it go. Yeah. There could be some when you find this out or something, there could be some type of emotional outburst. I'm hearing crying, yelling, screaming. I don't know, because somebody could be crushed because they already hurt me emotionally about something else. And if they find or you find out that they're giving you false hope, okay, been lying to you, stabbing you behind your back, and you find out all the shit they've been doing behind your back. What a toxic motherfucker. A manipulator. Okay, a fucking joker. Just juggling their ass. Yeah, you you would be crushed, okay. Well, yeah, your person is very sneaky. That they are, Spirit said. And they're afraid of being caught. So they try to make it seem like you're the reason that they're going out dating people because you fuss all the time. You calling them, asking them questions, where they at, what they doing. They letting their families and, and uh, members and friends listen to the conversation, putting you on speakerphone, trying to put you on blast silently. You don't even know they're doing this shit. Okay. Wow. Somebody cheating with, with um their cousin's friend. All right. Cheating with your cousin's friend. Damn. What else is here, Spirit? What do you want the collector to know? Wow. Yeah, so they couldn't resist the lust. Your person could not resist the lust from this toxic person. They don't know they toxic yet. They got a dark cloud over their head or something they ain't told your person. Yeah. They sneaky. Your person's sneaky. This motherfucking karmic they dealing with is sneaky. Then your person ain't opened up and told you. Because they a fucking coward. Because they afraid of be, being caught here. Yeah. Somebody fucking around with somebody that they said that it was their family member. Probably from out of town or some shit. Somebody you ain't never met before. They ain't kidding. That's 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 that motherfucking karmic that they've been sleeping with. That's who the fuck that is. Wow. They about to get exposed, though. That's what Spirit said. Your your nurse's ass karmic cheating ass person that met uh, met they match. They met somebody that's just like them. Lying, gaslighting, all that shit. I'm getting they promise you they wouldn't do this shit to you. You have been through enough. And they did the shit anyway. They can't tell you, but they can tell everybody else. Shit, that's why they be late for dinner and shit. They already be with the karmic and shit, you know? They didn't already ate with the karmic. That's why when you even prepare dinner or whatever, be prepared to take them out to dinner. The masculine shit, they done already ate with the fucking karma. That's what they be spending their time with. What's here? Mm hmm. I think they can cover it up with just a whole blanket apology. Like, I'm sorry for it all, you know? Because there's emotional outbursts here. There's crying, yelling, screaming, or whatever. Maybe when you find this out, you know, there's going to be some crying, some yelling, some screaming, you know? Because you thought this person really, really loved you like you loved them. Okay. And you you wanted to give yourself time to heal before you jumped into this relationship with this karmic. But you trusted him. You trusted him. And you opened up your heart. When you found out what they've been doing behind your back and what they've been saying. And the fucking games they've been playing with your fucking heart and the shit they've been saying behind your back. Yeah. Yeah, it could be a lot of crying, yelling, and screaming. Because this will hurt you. But there ain't no way they can 
you know, cover every cover apologize for everything they don't did. I ain't no fucking blanket apology here. What to say? Yeah. Your person's partner or best friend covers up for them. Mm-hmm. They cover up for them. They toxic too. They toxic too, because they be doing the same thing your person be doing. They be out here cheating on their person too. There's no way your person could could apologize for everything they've done for you, done to you. All right. There is no way. Uh, one apology can cover for all the shit they did behind your back. The way they've been backstabbing you. Talking about you behind your back. To their family and friends and shit. Look, I told you, they re they recorded everything so everybody else could hear. Even this toxic motherfucker they've been dealing with, this fucking joker. Yeah. The one that they gonna realize it was all just a game to this karmic they decided to fuck over you with. Yeah. They got a dark cloud over their fucking head, whoever they are. Yeah. You might be noticing some changes in your person's behavior. Or in, you know, the sex. You know what I'm saying? Like, for y'all to still, you know, into being intimate, you know. Man, that's just crazy. When you, when somebody promised you they won't hurt you and they know you've been hurt. And they gonna renege on that shit. You know, because they want to be sneaky and shit. They people pleasing and shit. You know what I'm saying? Trying to make themselves look good by trying to put you down and shit. You know what I'm saying? Like putting you on blast in front of everybody. You don't even know what the fuck going on. You go around people and shit. You go around their family. You go around their friends. And you notice how they looking at you sideways and shit. Someone might be giggling or smirking or some shit like that. And you like, you don't have a clue. You like wonder why they, you know what I'm saying? Like, damn. You feeling something, but you don't even know what you're feeling. But you know you're feeling like something ain't right. Damn. What else is here still before I close out on this energy? Because I want to beat this person up. For y'all collective, I do. Mm -hmm. When they found out that this karmic one doing but playing with their motherfucking man and their emotions like they was trying to play with yours. Yeah, that they were just having fun. They want to ask you for another fucking chance. Yeah. But mm -mm, don't trust them because Spirit said they ain't going to do nothing but start cheating again. Okay. Because that's, that's, that's who they are. That's who they are. Mm-hmm. They'll start cheating again with somebody else different. They'll start cheating again with somebody else different. That's what Spirit said. Yeah. Come into my, can you give me one more chance? I wasn't in my right mind. Do they even have a fucking mind? Because when you promise somebody that you won't hurt them, okay, and knowing that, you know, you may have been in a vulnerable position, not even want to even get in a relationship because you had trust issues, you know, Prior to that, okay. Wow. And then you find out this motherfucker been trying to make people think that you crazy and that you make shit up and that you got mental problems or some shit like that. That shit will hurt some fucking body. Fuck that motherfucker you been fucking with. Yeah. They just too afraid to face their own fucking insecurity. So they try to, you know, talk about you and put you on blast behind your fucking back to their family members and friends and shit. But they the ones with the insecurities and shit. They can't face their own motherfucking problems. Their own flaws. So they gotta try to pick out something for you. That's their shit. Mm-hmm. Yeah, they gonna be telling you, well, yeah. Uh, after everything is all said and done, they find out they was fucking with somebody that's juggling their motherfucking ass. Because, yeah, they got somebody else in their motherfucking past. I don't know. They, they gonna be coming back around. Whoever your person fucking with got somebody in their motherfucking past. And, and, and it's something dark about their asses too. That's why they was juggling your motherfucking person. They was just in it for the motherfucking fun. You know what I'm saying? In it for just, just having fun. Being a fucking flirt. You know what I'm saying? Because they is a player just like your person. Your person met they fucking match. That's what I'm getting here. Yeah. They're going to be telling y'all they didn't mean nothing to me. He or she didn't mean nothing to me. Yeah. It did why they thought the shit was all fun and shit. You know what I'm saying? When they was doing all this shit behind your back and to the shit back around their fucking ass. That's what Spirit said. Damn. This person is crazy. Yeah, they're going to be left feeling empty inside because they're not going to have you because you're going to drop their ass. Okay? 
sneaky snake. Nobody fuck with a sneaky snake. Yeah, going behind your back, talking all that shit, telling lies on you like you chasing them or whatever. I don't know. Yeah. Mm -mm. They're going to be so forgiving. Okay. One more. Mm-hmm. I'm hearing you have been burned in relationships, you know, before, and you ain't you ain't trying to have your heart broke. And this person promised you that they wouldn't. Okay. And they may be telling you they didn't mean not to, to hurt you or whatever. Well. You may have wanted to hold on to this person until you find out what the fuck they did. Mm-hmm. Yeah, there's some secrets about this karmic past that your person is gonna be finding out too. Yeah. Ooh. That they ex got a fierce ass temper. I'm telling you, shit. <laughs> might be some <laughs> some might explode, some might pop off. What's here, Holy Spirit? <laughs> your person may not see that coming. Yeah. Wow. Somebody been been burned in love um relationship before in a commitment. So, you know, you was already afraid to love somebody else. Wow. Because of some unhealed trauma here. Okay. I don't know. But this 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 uh karma that your person decided to mess with, oh they got skeletons in their motherfucking closet. You hear me? They got skeletons. It's some shit about this person that your person don't know. They are narcissists too, just like your person. They not telling your person the whole story. Oh, they tell it. They they giving them. They ooh, they spoon feeding them. They ain't telling them shit. Mm, but they ex person got a, a a damn fierce ass temper. Okay, they got anger issues and they got dark moods and 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 they abusive. They was abusive to this narcissist that your person is is now fucking around with. I don't know something about they person. They ex gonna show back up on the set. Wow, it's gonna be a tangled web of bullshit. Wow. All this shit is toxic. I see it was a lot of twists and turns to this shit, and it is too. Let's end it out with this. Yeah. You might be feeling closed off right now, but that's the spirit protecting you, whoever you are. Okay. As you've been hurt in the past, you're not trying to be hurt no more. Okay. You can forgive and move on, whoever you are, because you're very light. Lighthearted, tenderhearted person. I feel I feel the energy that you're a, a very a very kind hearted person. Like you just don't want to be hurt. And that's all you ask. Just for that one simple thing. It's for this person not to hurt you. You was already, you know, like kinda like not really wanting to get into a relationship. Didn't quite know if you was ready, but you trusted this person. You opened your your heart up to this person. Because they promised you they wouldn't hurt you. And this is exactly what they turned around and fucking did. Because they are so very, very sneaky. But not sneaky enough, okay? They thought they could do this shit. And all this shit they, is about to be exposed, okay? You may forgive this person, okay? And for, by forgiving this person, Spirit said, this will help you get past it, all right? Because it's going to be exposed. All this shit going to come out, all right? Yeah, you're going to see the dark side of your person here. And they're gonna see the dark side about this 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 karmic they've been fucking with too. Yeah, I'm, I'm telling you, there ain't gonna be no start over when you find this shit out. It's gonna be a fucking ending. That's what Spirit said. Yeah, it's gonna be an ending. It ain't gonna be shit that this person can tell you or anything explain to you or you know have no fucking apology for all the shit they don't do to you behind your back. You know, deceived you, lied to you, cheated on you, talked about you. You know what I'm saying? Let people hear the conversation, intimate details that you was talking to them about. Yeah, they was recording all that shit, letting people hear. Like, the shit was funny. This is an immature motherfucking narcissist, too. And they fuck around with an immature uh, uh, nar narcissist as uh, karmic, be it feminine or masculine. All right, they don't know shit about love. Damn. And all he was trying to do is just heal and, and move forward. Damn. You already went through some trauma. You thought you got away from that shit. Now you're going to find out this sneaky motherfucker or this sneaky bitch been up to some same backstabbing ass shit. 
Wow, ain't no way they can apologize for this. You'll forgive them. But seriously, the way the way that you'll get past this and get through this is by, you know, forgiving will help you get through it. Okay? Forgiving them will help you get through it. And just move move forward. You know what I'm saying? Just move forward. All right. Till next time, collective. That's what I have for you now. Namaste. Peace, love, and light.